Hello everybody, it's Johnny here. I'm just going to try in five minutes or so to explain what a minor key is and how it works. But first we got to know what the major key is. The major key is just a bunch of steps in a pattern. And it goes like this. Whole, 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 half, whole, 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 half. The reason why is a whole step has one in between. So whole, whole, a half step has nothing in between. Then whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So let's now go to the minor key. The A minor version, you just step down three. And that's the relative minor immediately. And the minor key has the same scale, but just on the A. That is the natural minor, called natural minor with nothing in it, nothing added to it. And it's the same as the C major key. So in this case, you have whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, which is very different. Now, this key, the natural version of the minor key is useless. It is nothing. It's a waste of time. Nobody ever uses it because it's non-functional. It doesn't create music. You have to alter this scale to get functional music. And what we're focusing on is the th six and the seven of the key. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one, because it's A. These two are going to change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just know that generally that these are going to be raised a lot of the time. Now there's three different versions. I just played you the natural. The melodic version of the minor scale is changes when it goes up and down. When you go up, you raise the six and seven, and then when you go down, that's the melodic minor. The harmonic minor just outlines what chords you're gonna use. Because the melodic minor just tells you how to write melody, the uh, harmonic minor is gonna tell you what chords you're gonna use, the harmony to, to the roots. So, That's a bizarre, like a, an Egyptian kind of music thing. Uh, that's because of this space right here. So you have whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole. Oh, sorry, not whole. Augmented. Whole, 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 half, whole, whole, half. Augmented. Half step. This is an augmented second. A very unusual. It happens sometimes, but uh, it's very rare. And that's what gives it that sound. The reason why is because the D minor is the is the four chord in the key, and then the five has to be major. So this is the important part. When you're changing, that's the that's the useless version of the key. You must make that seven a leading tone. It's called a leading tone because it leads. Mess that up, but it leads that G sharp to A. That's why it's called a leading tone. So that's the whole point of this uh, key. So I'm going to play you a Mozart piece. I'm going to play you as it is, as Mozart wrote it, and I'll show you why he wrote it like that and why he used the other versions of the key. So this is an A minor, and everybody knows this piece. It's called the Turkish Rondo a la Turco by Mozart in one of his sonatas. So that's the uh, melodic and harmonic version of the minor key. Now let me play it for you so where it's the natural version of A minor. That's the mat natural version with no sharps or flats, just all natural keys. So I'm going to play it and you sound, so see how it sounds. sound like that's nothing what is that that's why we use the uh, the melodic and harmonic versions of it because it 
and I'll play it again in the, in the natural version. What is that? That is nothing. So that is why we have the melodic minor and the, and the harmonic minor. When you have this, these two are absent and they don't function. So basically, and my last point is going to be that the A minor scale that we use, the version that we use, is basically identical to the uh, major scale, but just the third is lower. So, so this is the major key, A, A major. All we're doing is lowering this just to make it minor. So just think of the A minor key, just think of it like this. Don't even worry so much about the... When you write down, when you're writing downwards, go natural. But don't worry about those two different scales. Just remember that a minor key is basically the major scale, but with the lower third. So I hope that helped.